Hey guys, Prowl1701 here, and today I'm going to talk about the four classic Doctor Who stories I have not seen yet. And all four of them are completely missing. Now, as many of you know, I did recently watch Dalek's Master Plan for the first time, and it only became apparent on me right as I was almost finished with the episode, but episode 10 of Dalek's Master Plan is the last fully existing episode of Classic Who that I hadn't seen, so barring recovery... I'll never get to see an existing classic episode of Doctor Who for the first time again. They need to find some missing episodes. But there are still four stories that I have not seen reconstructions or animations for yet. And I'm going to talk about those and the likelihood of me watching them soon. <clears throat> the first one is Marco Polo. Now, I have seen the 30-minute cut down on it that's included in the beginning box set. I have seen that and talked about that before. Uh, I do want to read the novelization, which I don't know if I have or not. Fly Attractor has sent me a lot of novels, and I'm not sure if that one's called Marco Polo or something else. Some of the novels are under a different name, so I don't know if, it, if the novelization, the target novelization of Marco Polo is called Marco Polo, if it's called something else. And I need to, I've got, I think, my bo box with a bunch of the books in my closet. I need to dig it out and rummage through them because I don't know if I have the novelization of Marco Polo or not. If I can find it, or if I have it and can find it, I will probably give it a read because I don't think I'm going to be able to watch it. I don't think I can do a seven episode recon without it severely affecting how much I like the story. Uh, even though telesnaps do exist for this one, except for episode four. But I still think uh, going through seven episodes of recons would hamper my opinion of the story. I'd rather read it first, um, and I think that would help me after I read it. Then watching the recon, I think I'd like it better. Much like the Highlanders and the Abominable Snowmen, I read them first. And I think partially due to that, then I watched the recons. And I enjoy both stories. I like the Abominable Snowmen, and I very much like um, the Highlanders. One of my favorite Troutman stories, the Highlanders. So I'm going to have to do that for Marco Polo. Then I might attempt to go through the recon. Uh, the next one is The Massacre. I have not seen The Massacre. I know TDS wants me to watch it, but I know The Massacre was made back when John Wiles was producing the show, so there are no telesnaps of it, and I just expect that recon would be a an utter nightmare to get through. No offense to Loose Cannon or whoever made it. I'm sure they did the best with what they could. But the fact they don't even have, they don't even know what Hartnell looks like as the abbot, like what he wore. They don't even know uh, because telesnaps don't exist. I just think that would be, I can't even remember how many episodes the massacre is. I don't know if it's four or six. I don't know a lot about the massacre other than, of course, it's taking place in the past and Hartnell's in dual roles. I don't really know a lot about it. So I don't know if it's four episodes or six. Um, even at four episodes, though, it would, I think it would be painful to get through with the lack of telesnaps, and I, I just don't want to do that. That's one I'm waiting for an animation on. I don't know how hard the... Again, since I'm not overly familiar with the massacre, although I know historicals tend to be harder to animate, I don't know how hard it would be to do animation of that one. I don't hear people talk about it getting animated much, so I'm ex expecting it's difficult to animate. <clears throat> That's another one... Maybe if I have the novelization or get the novelization, I'd probably just read through it first. I think that would be the better way to do it because my imagination is probably going to be better than the actual recon that's put together for it. Uh, again, no offense to the people who made the recons. I'm sure that, I'm sure they did some of their recon magic to make it look as good as they could. Uh, next one on the list is the Savages. Uh, I don't know much of anything about the Savages other than Stephen Leaves. I will be going into the Savages very blind, uh, which I like. I like that. I like the fact there's a classic Doctor Who story left that I don't know much about uh, other than Stephen leaving. Now, the Savages, though, is one I hear would be easy to animate. I remember back when Galaxy 4 was coming out and we kept thinking we were going to be getting two or three animations a year. Oh, man, wasn't that good times? Uh, the Savages was the one I kept hearing coming up would possibly be the next Hartnell story or would make sense as the next Hartnell story. I guess it has a small cast. That seemed to be the popular fan opinion that I kept hearing. So it seems to me the Savages would not be as difficult to animate as some of the other stories we haven't gotten yet, plus being a companion departure story. Um <clears throat> So I think I'm holding off on the Savages just to see if we get it animated in the next couple of years. 
Uh, and then last on the least is last on the least. Last on the least. Last on the list is The Smugglers, which I have read. I've read the novelization of it and really enjoyed it, by the way. I like the novelization a lot. I have seen the very brief existing clips, the censor clips, basically, of it. Looks interesting. Have not watched the recon yet, though. Uh, this is another one that rumors floating abound about it getting animated. And I'm very curious to hear once Toy Maker releases what the next animation is going to be. Because the next animation could be the Smugglers or the Savages. So I'm holding off on those because I could also see the Smugglers possibly getting an animation if rumor is correct. So I'm kind of holding off on those because I wouldn't mind if we're going to get an animation waiting for the animation to come out. And all four of those are completely missing, all four of the stories we just talked about. So Marco Polo, <clears throat> seen the cut down, want to read the novelization, and then after reading the novelization, I might attempt the seven-episode recon. Uh, the Massacre, I really would just rather read the novelization of it. I don't know if I have it. I need to, again, dig through there. Flat Tractor has sent me a lot of books, which I very much appreciate, and I've read several of them uh, and have reviewed several of them. So I need to dig through and look at that. And then Savages and Smugglers, I'm just holding out to see if we might be getting animations of at least one of those in the next couple of years. So that's kind of my thoughts on that. I want to know what you think of these stories, whether you think they're good or not, without getting into spoilery stuff. So comment down below and let me know which ones of these would you be most excited on hearing me talk about whenever, they, whenever I eventually read them or see them. Don't forget to click the like button as well and the subscribe button. Links to the Patreon are down there as well if you would like to uh, support me that way. I want to give a shout out to a couple of my top tier patrons, Colin Coney and Finn Perkins. I appreciate their support as I do the support of all of my patrons. It is very much appreciated. I also have a link to my Amazon wish list down there and a link to my Amazon UK wish list down there. And my P.O. Box is down there as well. Most importantly, thank you for watching. Thank you.